I'd like to uh, bring up Mahendra Mahay um, uh, just now. So um, uh, he's going to be uh, emceeing for the afternoon. Um, I'll go and sit down. Um, uh, and uh, he's the project manager for the British Library Labs. And uh, without him and superb technical leadership being provided by Ben Esteen, support from uh, Hannah Lewis, uh, this symposium wouldn't take place, uh, nor would it be possible for us to have engaged effectively with the tremendous uh, researchers um, that we've done over the last uh, few years. So um, if you could just uh, uh, applause for um, Mahendra for the great work that he's been doing in putting this together, but also um, uh, managing the labs project and he'll uh, have, have um, some other things to share with us. Um, because of time, I'm going to keep this fairly short. Um, when, when me and Ben started at Labs three and a half years ago, Ben, um, the competition was important, but it was never about the competition. It was about opening the doors of the library to get people to do creative things with our digital collections and data. That's what's always driven us. Um, so, um, partly through a lot of badgering, okay, um, we... Um, I'm going to make a special announcement that we're actually going to support the runners-up of this year's competition between November and March, and you're going to hear a little bit more about their projects. They have two posters in the foyer. There are also some um, awards winners, uh, sorry, awards entrants, sorry, um, in the foyer. Um, but I'm going to keep, I'm not going to say any more because I want to give them some time to just talk briefly about their projects. So first I'm going to welcome Michael Takio Magruder, who's a visual artist and researcher. He was the first runner-up of this year's competition. We're going to be working with him between November and the end of March. Over to Michael. Thanks, Mahendra. And first of all, I'd like to thank um, Mahendra, Adam, um, for giving me the opportunity to undertake this project, and also to curators here at the BL, Stella Wisdom and Tom Harper. They've really kind of, in the lead up to this, this proposal, I, I really sort of learned a lot about the digital collections um, and maps here at the British Library. Imaginary Cities is an arts research project that considers how large collections of digital um, cultural materials can be used to create born digital artworks and real-time experiences, which are relevant and exciting to 21st century audiences. The project will take images and associated metadata of pre-20th century urban maps drawn from the British Library's online one million images from scanned books collection, and I'm going to try to transform them into provocative fictional cityscapes for the information age. Now, this project will bring together a lot of my work and my, my former sort of research and my practice, um, but one notion in particular really kind of comes to the fore. Namely that libraries for me are not only repositories of knowledge and information, but they're also vast troves of culture and creativity. And now that, as we've seen today, all these wonderful infrastructures that digital humanities researchers and technologists have actually brought to bear to provide this kind of cultural asset, um, I'm, I'm really interested to see what an artist like myself can do with that, to actually take the historical and like bring it into the contemporary to make something new. So with that in mind, I'm really excited to start seeing what's possible. Thank you.